Live from beautiful Oriole Park at Camden Yards, we've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Baltimore Orioles. And, and we'll now, be back with the first pitch right after this. 2022 Baltimore Orioles. So just about set now. Here's George Springer to start it off. The next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Kicks and deals. Slapped foul. Next offering is foul back. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Base hit and the leadoff man aboard. All over that one right there. Everything was on time and fluid right, in that second. swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and oh, lined it into center for the sure. knock. Those always feel good. Bo Bichette up to the dish. The next offering misses. Three and one now. The pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. pitch stays alive here comes a 3-2 and he swings and lifts one to deep center field that's got a chance pulls it in on the warning track here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Here comes a pitch. That one misses, and it's two and one. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. And he deals. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. And now Teoscar Hernandez. The right fielder. Teoscar Hernandez. The two one. And a good eye there. The pitch. And he walked him. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Goriel gets a piece. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Mullins has a beat on it. And that is that. Bottom of the first. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. The 3 1. On the ground at first. Oh, and it hits the base. And he's out on the tag. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. That this is a guy that really that has the pitch. ability to oh, yeah. be more than just a slugger and a home run hitter, but to hit for average, to get on base, and to drive the ball out of the ballpark. Swung on, belted. That one is deep. Oh! Ryan Mountcastle hits one out. Just like that, they move in front. It's one nothing. Anthony Santander at the plate. A wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. A wind to kick the pitch. The other way, calls it in, and there's two away. 
Two outs, base is empty. And next that will be the cleanup hitter, Trey Mancini. Trey Mancini. Righty delivers. And that one missing low. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. That one in for a strike, two and two. And the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Bichette handles. Now the throw to first on the run. And the inning is over. Top of the second. Now it's Matt Chapman. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Strike two. Stunt. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Chapman gets a piece there. Kick the 3 2. Fouled off again. And it remains 3 and 2. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So a man on base to start the inning. Alejandro Kirk will hit next. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Santiago. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now it's Jansen to hit. The catcher, number nine, Danny Jansen. And fouled off. And a pinch. Fouled back our way, and that's out of play. Next offering in the dirt. And that's ball three. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Back here in Baltimore, bottom half of inning number two, and now it's going to be Austin Hayes. Next pitch misses, and the count two and one. Righty to the plate. And that one lifted in the air center field, and it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. Now the shortstop, Ramon Urias. Number 29. 3 1 now. On the ground to the left. Dive, and he's got it. Chap to second. Double play. That was some defensive wizardry. Batting seven. The second baseman. Rugan. Oh, Rugan Odor comes up to the plate now. Three one is on the way. That one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Oh. 
All set for the start of the inning. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, George Springer. The wind and the pitch. Springer swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And now one away. Bo Bichette the now at the plate. Shortstop. Bo Bichette. The wind of the pitch. This one in the air right field. Santander settles under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Two down. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. The first baseman. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Down the third baseman, Kelvin Gutierrez. That one to first, and that's just foul. The pitch. Down the left field line, should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he starts the bottom of the third with a double. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Next pitch misses outside. And it's two and one. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. No outs. Runner on second. Rip, but it curls foul. Not even close there. Counts full three and two. That's ripped. Base hit. Gutierrez around third. He will score, and they take a two run lead. Back to back base hits. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Next offering misses, all three. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Left hand batter waits, and yeah, there's ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you gotta challenge the guy with the fastball. The first baseman. And now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Swing and a miss, struck him out. One gone here. So digging in, now Anthony Santander. Right Anthony Santander. The one-one. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's down, one hops off the wall. Picks himself up in RBI. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Trey Mancini now. Kicks and fires. And now the count is even. First and third, one down. Lifted in the air, right field. Fernandez ranging back and puts the squeeze on that. Runner tagging from third. Roll home, he beats it. And they lead by four. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. So now one and two. 
This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Tapped softly on the ground. Fires over to Guerrero. That's out number three. Onto the fourth, and now the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Next offering is in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That one the other way, puts it away for the out. Here's Guriel. The left fielder. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play, and I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. Back to work, 3-2 now. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Two quick outs here in the top yeah, of the fourth. The third now Matt Chapman at Matt the plate. Chapman. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. Late that time, and it's strike two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The 2 2. He swings and fouls one off. 2 2 now. Now one missed. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the Blue Jays go down 1 2 3. Ready to go, bottom four. Now it's the shortstop, Ramon Urias. Swing and a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's got a leadoff double in the fourth. I'll tell you. And it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And the batter now, Rubnet Odor. Runner leads away at second. And the one-two misses to even the count. Next offering is foul back. Man at second. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. The and there's one man. away. Kelvin. So up next, Kelvin Gutierrez. Gutierrez. And a pitch. And it is two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Out to short. Bichette over to pick it up. Out on the off balance throw. Robinson Chirinos now up to him. Now batting catcher Robinson Chirinos. Next one misses and a count two and one. In the air right field. Nobody can get there and it's a foul ball. Man on second two down. Swing and a miss and he got him. Inning over. We go to the top of the fifth. Stepping in Alejandro Kirk. The 1-1. One -one. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Center field. Mullen 
Jones settles underneath it and makes the grab. And a quick out number one. Here's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. He was a strikeout baseman. victim his first time. Santiago Espinal. This one smacked out to left center. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's two away. Danny Jansen to hit here. The catcher, number nine. Danny Jansen. Is a 1-1. Just missed. Two and one now. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. The 2-2. Two -two. And a foul ball. Comes the 2 2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is foul back. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Mountcast makes the catch, and that'll do it. Now at Oriole Park, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Kicks and deals. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Reaching for it, and brings it in. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but Up sometimes you hit it too hard and right the at someone. Patient. You're looking for one of those oh, yeah. loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Oh, this is deep to left center. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He circles the bases. His second home run of the game. And they tack one on the board. It's 5-zip. Anthony Santander. The next to hit for the Orioles. In the air to left center. Guriel should have this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. And next is the designated hitter, yeah, Trey Mancini. The designated hitter, Trey Mancini. Stays alive. That one misses, and the count is even two and two. Popped up right side, Hernandez sizes this one up. Long run, nice grab. And that is that. All set for the top of the sixth. And now, George Springer. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly oh, trying to attack the zone either. Shit. Next offering upstairs. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Ripped on a line. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Here comes Springer around third. He'll score. It's 5-1. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Now this is in the air down the line. Makes the catch, and there's one down. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Dylan Tate. He'll try to strand the runner at second. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm. 
coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. offering his foul back and here it comes and now it's filled up and here's a three two and that's ball four not a great back and forth and that at bat he had to lay off some really close yeah, pitches yeah. and so somehow boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there I'll tell you right now I couldn't have done it a 1 1. Runners at first and second with one gone. The next pitch misses. Three balls and a strike. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here, with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. And the righty deals. Chapman gets a piece there. Right handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. Santander moving under it. He makes the grab. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline and he's in to score. It's 5 2. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Corners are occupied with two down. Oh, and that deflects off his glove. Tosses the first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Julian Merriweather. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. And welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. The pitch. There's a strike. The pitch. Out there to center. And that is Springer. Hauls it in for the out. So digging in, Ramon Urias. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. In the air to left, down the line. Guriel handles the chance. And there are two outs. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. The if he does that, play. he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority oh, instead of a fly out to left. And that one fouled off. Next offering is foul back. And a 3 2. Foul ball. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Joey Crable. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Joey Crable. Welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. in the air left field he's got it and there's one away 
good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to the stay catcher, close. Number nine. Here's the catcher, Danny, Danny Jansen. Jansen. One down, base is empty. And it's filled up. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Next offering is foul back. 3-2. And he walked him. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone-cold take. The center. And the batter is George Springer. George. Next pitch is inside, and it's two and one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two one pitch is in there, and the count is even. Right hander kicks deals. In the air out towards right center. Mullins on the move. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. Two away. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Foul ball there. The pitch. That's out to center field. Mullen. Makes the catch and that'll do it. Set for the last half of the seventh and into the box for Baltimore, Kelvin Gutierrez. The why to kick the pitch. Fouled off down the right side. Here comes a pitch. Pulls that one foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one away. Now the catcher up to hit. Robinson Chirino. Robinson. Chirino. The pitch. And he takes a strike. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Cedric the Mullins, man. the next to hit. Cedric Mullins. Going to count one and two. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Next pitch misses. It's two and two. And another ball. Got him. The big right, he strikes out the side. Coming on for the Orioles, Cole Solcer. And he'll work on holding this lead. Cole Solcer. Back here at the ballpark, ready to begin the eighth. Stepping in the long ball threat, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And there's a foul ball. The one two. Good eye right there. And a pitch. Just missed.
and the pitch. And down on strikes. One out. Teoscar now Hernandez right next up for the Blue Jays. Next pitch is popped up. Mountcastle under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Going to have to have a little more discipline now in back. future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or a weak contact in the infield. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Here's now Matt Batman. Chapman. Third baseman. Matt Chapman. The pitch. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Righty delivers. And that one pulled foul. Fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back. And forget it. Matt Chapman bops one out of here. And they close the gap. It's 5 4. Base is empty with two away. Alejandro Kirk digs in now. The tying run at the plate. Down and in, moved his feet. the count two and one there's a strike two two and a foul ball two two now and a foul ball he stays alive the two two now and now the count filled up three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Next pitch is popped up. Gutierrez under it. Brings it in. That is the inning. Trevor Richards takes over on the mound, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Trevor Richards. Back here in Baltimore, now here is Ryan Mountcastle. And he deals. And one and two. Swings and misses, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now batting. And here the is right Anthony Santander. Santander. 1-1 one, one now. And that one wrapped foul. The next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. down and in. It's very well. It's a good miss. Three, two. Got him looking. Two out. Two now out. Space is empty. Now it's the D.H. Trey. Trey Mancini. Mancini. This one smoked out to left. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. And that's a double. 
Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. And now it's Austin Hayes. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. And a pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Bichette gets under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Tyler Wells will take over here, trying to protect this lead. Number 68, Tyler. Back now at Oriole Park. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. Line drive, base hit. Just a huge at bat right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Reese McGuire. Left hand hitter waits. Ground ball to first, could be two. Fires to second for one. On to first, double play. Here's George Springer. Up next to the blue game. The center field. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Pitch misses inside, two and one. And the right hander deals. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Two down, nobody on. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. So the inning is still alive with Bo Bichette coming to the dish. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team now needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Next one misses. Full count now. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Up the middle to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. will hit next. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are three passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Got him! The tying and go ahead runs are left the board as this one is over. You can still feel the energy in this ballpark. What a great finish. Everyone on their feet looking for that pitcher to get the final out. They strand the tying run at third. The go ahead run was at second base. A lot of pressure, but they were able to pull it out. Nice W. Close one here today, and your final 5 4. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our.